We have some breaking news and updates from Reform UK and Nigel Farage's future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. So, some breaking news that just came out uh, minutes ago is on Nigel Farage and his uh, future in politics, or specifically frontline politics. Now, some people on the left, like the, the, the Mirror, Daily Mirror, are celebrating this news. So what's going on exactly? Well, according to Nigel Farage, he will not be standing in the next general election as a candidate or, or party leader for Reform UK. And he has given us his reasoning. Let's go and see what Nigel Farage had to say about this. He said, the truth of it is that anywhere I stood, they would cheat. They would break the law. They just would. No one went to prison last time. The result stood. No one got a suspended sentence that's one issue that he has and of course he also talks about his uh, new uh, career and job as a gb news presenter and a campaigner he's doing a great job with that and he said i'm quite happy with life as it is i don't dream at night of doing it and he's referring to standing in the next election but if the tories go on messing up the way they are i just might at some point feel compelled to this is quite interesting because actually I could see a bit of merit behind it. The reality is that uh, during the era of uh, UKIP versus Tories, uh, the whole of the, the passion and the campaign was to ensure that we, the British people, get that EU referendum that we deserved. And he, now Nigel Farage himself said repeatedly that his ambition and his whole move wasn't to become prime minister or wasn't to rule the country any of that like or any some sort of egotistical campaign it was simply for the cause that he spent years and decades of his life to achieve and you know he stood in parliament to raise his profile raise his public profile and to make sure that people are hearing him out and establishment are hearing him out this is the list of the election that he stood in 1994 he stood in a by-election in Eastleigh in 1997, general election in Salisbury. We had even in 2001, 2005, he did South Thanet, South Thanet for the first time. 2006 by-election he did in South London, 2010 general election, and in 2015 he once again stood in South Thanet. So that's one thing. And the South Thanet election was a, a bit controversial in terms of the result, in terms of the way the Conservative Party a campaign to, uh, uh, using the national um, campaign fund to help the local candidates. There's a difference between the spending limits when it comes to the national campaign and the local campaigns. Uh, and so there was a bit of a, a mix-up, let's just say, that happened in 2015 from the Tory side. Now, some people on the left, including the, the Mirror, are celebrating this news and trying to make it look like something else. The mirror headline just it just came out now. It says exclusive. Nigel Farage will not stand to be an MP again as he fears another humiliating defeat. If you think that at the time the UKIP leader Nigel Farage was humiliated that he didn't stand, win his elections or his party didn't become a party of government, then you live in your cuckoo land. The whole point of UKIP, as I said, was at the time to push. For independent Britain and that was the reality and the, the, the reason I said this could actually end up being a good thing long term is as he said himself Nigel would consider in the future coming back to frontline politics if things get worse I mean how, how much worse do we have to get <laughs> in reality but back then the Brexit party UK all the Brexit party got a bit better but UK was primarily a one-man band and that was the whole point of the campaign. But there were still a lot of hardworking members of the party and candidates standing everywhere. Brexit Party was still technically no Farage, but they did diversify their portfolio of candidates. And it wasn't just about Nigel at that time. Even Richard Tice came up those days. We had Ben Habib. We had many others uh, from various sides. Uh, even Claire Fox got even more famous during those days as an MEP for Brexit. But now, Richard Tice and his team are doing a good job. 
So, and they still have the support of Nigel Farage. It might be a good thing that if Reform UK want to be a legitimate and credible party as a threat to Tories and Labour, then it might be a good thing to not turn Reform into, like UKIP, a one-man band party. It's time for Reform UK and Richard Tite to diversify their candidates and to slowly stop promoting the other good household names who are part of the party. Get some superstars, get people who actually come from the community, from the business world, from everywhere, to make sure do what the Brexit party did, and that's how they succeeded. Uh, but of course, a lot of people still uh, would wish that Nigel Farage would return, but we don't know exactly what's going to happen in the future anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Amaya Tusi and we are the media.